hello friends myself purti and uh, this video is going to be very useful for the students who are preparing for neat and csir net exams in this topic i have taken the response to the stress in animals you know stress is of two types physical or mental so in these both stresses the body adapts by the release of three main hormones okay the first one is the acth acth okay the second one is the cortisol and the third one is the adrenaline we will see later so let us start over here so as i said the main hormone is the acth the uh, let us talk about the acth acth is the corticotropin or the adrenocorticotrophic hormone it is you know that it is secreted by the pituitary gland and what it does what is the function it has a stimulating effect on the hormone okay um, producing capacity of adrenal uh, cortex so what does it mean that it is secreted by the adrenal cortex as you see here this is the um, pituitary gland over here and it secretes the acth then it has a stimulating uh, action on the adrenal cortex so now adrenal cortex releases two type of hormones we are focusing to this glucocorticoids and the example of glucocorticoid is the cortisol so the main hormone is the cortisol and the this one acth okay so again in this diagram we are again going to see how the stress uh, is there and how is the human body is adapted to it stress is there the pituitary gland secreted the crf that is the corticotropin releasing hormone and it secretes the acth acth it uh, has an in stimulating action on the adrenal cortex and it secretes the cortisol and the main function this is very very important what is the function of cortisol that is the first one is the gluconeogenesis that is the synthesis of glucose from the non carbohydrate substances like protein lipids fats and the protein mobilization fat mobilization and the stabilization of the lysosomes again here in some more facts about this is that that again we are talking of the stress you know and this is how trauma it may be infection it may be coldness hotness okay it may be injection of nor epinephrine some surgical processes okay some inhibiting movements or some debilitating diseases so in all these stress condition what happens there is a secretion of the cortisol and what does the cortisol do it to provides a rapid mobilization of amino acids okay there is synthesis of the glucose also and the synthesis purine pyrimidine creatinine phosphate okay so one more action is there of the cortisol is the anti inflammatory uh, function so if the inflammation is already there inflammation is the swelling so it uh, um it reduces the um the swelling one more thing which is very important in this one more role of cortisol that it lowers the fever okay it lowers the uh fever so by the uh, secretion of the inter uh, leukin 1 from the wbc what does it mean from the wbc secretes il1 that is the inter leukin um and it finally lowers the fever okay so let us do a quick revision over here what is important what we have to revise that in the stress uh, condition there are the hormones which we have to recall that is the acth it is the cortisol and this is what is the function of the cortisol is that gluconeogenesis mobilization of protein and fat and the stabilization of lysosomes and 
there is also one more uh, important thing to know that is the adrenal medulla secretes adrenaline and it support the action of the sympathetic system what does it mean it is a part of the autonomous nervous system and it also includes the para nervous system okay and it activates the um, system for the flight or fight you know then uh, the next thing is that you have to recall about the functions of the cortisol that it is one more function that is it is anti inflammatory and one more that it it lowers the fever and how it lowers cortisol is released it lowers the fever how the interleukin 1 is secreted from the wbc okay so in the next video we will talk about the active transport across uh, membrane so please do like and share and subscribe it thank you